What up, Laker Nation? It's your boy, Dan, a Laker fan, and son of a Mitch. I got to tell you guys, man, I'm going to get more into the Boston Celtics versus Lakers uh, loss. Well, we lost 115 to 95, but that's not the reason I'm pissed off. The reason I'm pissed off is because freaking Jim Buss, freaking stinking, spoiled brat, wants to come back and haunt us, guys. He already ruined the franchise long enough. Now, today, I was going about my business. I was doing what I have to do. You know, I, I got a lot of stuff going on right now. And uh, um, I was going about my day when I get a tweet from a good friend of mine who tells me if I've, who asked me if I've heard about what Jim Buss is trying to do. And I say no, but I kind of feared what he was going to say next. To my surprise, he goes, he's trying to take the franchise back. Oh my God, guys. The shivering, the shivering anger I felt coming down my spine is just, it's crazy. I'm sick and tired of this idiot running the franchise into the ground long enough. Magic and Genie are doing a great job of reestablishing this one's respective franchise. And this idiot wants to ruin it once more for us. So I go on Twitter and I find out that this guy was trying to set up a meeting where him and his brother John or whatever the heck. They're all J's. Jimmy, Johnny, Jacob, Joseph. Who gives a damn, guys? These idiots are trying to form a meeting to boot Jeannie out of presidency. Uh, and yet her dad gave her that role. So it's not, I don't even think it's legal to do that. So she had a file motion for a restraining order against her brother just to prevent this, guys. Imagine how she's feeling. I mean, she already had to go through the hard decision of uh, uh, booting Jim, her own brother, who her dad's dying wish was for him to run basketball operations. Well, she had to go against her father's dying wish because this idiot doesn't even have the pants to face the media. That's how horrible he is. Any, any, any man who runs a team or runs any organization and can't even give an interview or face the media is a freaking coward and that's what this guy is he's trying to when he got fired or when he stepped down whatever when magic replaced him i knew he was going to give us trouble guys i know he was going to give this franchise trouble because he didn't he didn't give a statement like mitch gave a statement he went out the classy way i respect mitch for what he said you know he thanked the organization and he moved on but this idiot just lurks like freaking Gollum from freaking Lords of the, Lord of the Rings or something. He doesn't say a damn thing. He just disappears into the night. So you know he's plotting something. I'm telling you, this guy's this guy's like a damn villain that just won't go away. He's like Freddy Krueger in those movies where they think they kill him and he keeps coming back. He's a nightmare, man. I can't stand Jimmy Buss. Ah, I hope Commissioner um, Adam Silver, he's been a great commissioner so far, right? He's been way better than David Stern who vetoed the Chris Paul trade. And I'm still salty about that, guys. Chris Paul should have been in purple and gold, but he vetoed it and and ruined our franchise as well as Jim. You know, they both ruined our franchise for years to come. But we're in the process of making it better. And lately, I was hearing positive things about the Lakers that free agents now want to come. That there's an appeal. I've been listening to ESPN LA seven ten in the morning. You know, these guys are saying that legends like T Mac are saying that that if they were in the NBA, the Lakers now look appealing. Isaiah Thomas today in an interview said we're gonna get a superstar for sure. I mean, everything's looking great. And here comes this freaking virus named Jim Buss. Jimbo. Freaking idiot. And he, he's, he's trying to dethrone his sister, guys. What is this, Game of Thrones? What the heck? All right, he's trying to remove her. And I'm sure Magic as well. When they just took possession of the franchise. Now, you had your time, dude. Step off. All right? Laker fans, if we ever see Jim Buss anywhere in LA, let's make him feel as uncomfortable as possible. Let's make this idiot feel like he's not welcome here because this shouldn't be. I know he owns a part of the team, but I hope the commissioner forces him to sell just like he did uh, Donald Sterling because this guy's just as much of an idiot, all right? And uh, I hope he forces him to sell either to Magic or the other half to his sister or their group, you know, their ownership group, whatever. But we cannot have this guy tainting the Lakers anymore, man. He's going to. And Peter's from landing another free agent. If he, if he, if this, if this problem persists and goes into the summer, which I heard that uh, we might go to court on May because of this, um, free agents are going to look at the situation and be like, "Whoa, that's not settled. Uh, maybe we should hold off a bit." And I'm telling you, man, guys, it's been a nightmare, man. So I hope uh, the commissioner steps in and does something in favor of Genie and Magic because they've done nothing but great things since they've owned the team, since they started taking over, guys. Um, so. Let's pray that this all ends soon. This is a nightmare, man. I can't stand it. 
Ah, anyway, sorry about the little mini rant. Moving on to the game. Uh, all right, guys, I do not appreciate the fact that the Boston Celtics blew us out tonight, you know? Um, I wanted us, if we if we were going to get one more win during the season, this should have been it because I hate the Boston Celtics. I respect them, but I hate them. And now they have more wins than us during the season. They're beating us. We used to be winning in the all-time in all time wins of any franchise in the NBA. But this idiot Jimbo messed it up, and now they caught up and over, overtook us. So every time we face the Celtics, that's the one game I don't want us tanking. But it is what it is. We lost. Uh, in my opinion, Brennan Ingram has regressed a little bit since taking a step forward and scoring a career-high 22. Julius Randle didn't have half as good a, as a game as he had the other night, but at least he was aggressive for the most part. Um, D'Angelo continues to impress me a little bit. He took two quarters off, the second and third quarter, but during the first quarter he was impressive. In the fourth quarter, garbage time nonetheless, but he still put up points. So, I mean... I. I if Brendan Ingram had the confidence and aggression that uh, D'Angelo has, then we'd have a star player in our hands. But right now, it's crucial that Ingram, during the rest of the season and during the next season, develops a killer mentality because with his length and athleticism, if he throws on a little bit of muscle and he improves his jump shot, by the way, all the Lakers have to improve their free throws because when our guards are shooting horrible, everybody's shooting horrible. I mean, D'Angelo misses free throws, Jordan Clarkson, everybody, guys. So they have to really work on their free throws this summer. Those are free throws, they're easy shots. We should be able to make them. But, yeah, um, things are looking positive, guys. We're now the number two team, uh, the number two worst team in the NBA. So that means that we have the second best odds at the number one overall pick. And we have less odds of losing the pick. We used to be in third place. We had the third worst record. Now the Suns moved ahead of us. They, they won yesterday and today. So, luckily, we have a higher chance of keeping our pick in this loaded draft. And, again, I'd be cool with Josh Jackson's my favorite, Lonzo Ball. Or Markel Fultz, you know, and there's plenty of other ones that I wouldn't mind, but those are my top three on the list. Um, as far as Clarkson, he needs to stop settling for three-point shots because he's so much better when he's attacking the rim, guys. And, uh, uh, you know, he needs to realize that Lou Williams is no longer here, so he's not Lou Williams. His 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 uh, strength is attacking the rim and mid-range jump shots, so he needs to stick to that, right? Um, D'Angelo just needs to mix it up a little bit more, but I already like his aggression. I like where his mindset is. I like him off pick and rolls. I like how he's trying to get teammates involved. Um, he even attacked the rim a little bit tonight. He needs to do a little bit more of that, but I get it, you know. Um, he's trying. Uh, when he looks assertive, he looks really great. He looks like an elite point guard. Like during the first quarter, he, he wasn't even thinking about it. He's just coming out of screens and just pulling it. And I like that aggression from him, you know. Uh, I really like this new kid, uh, David Nwaba, man. He looks really good, um, defensively especially. What a great pickup. I was following him a little bit on Twitter here and there. I, I know he was in the Defenders, and he was a pretty good defender. So, But, again, that's a D-League. He's a short over here in the NBA. And tonight, he had a couple of steals, and he was really active, and he looks super athletic, man. There was a play where he went baseline and double clutched the layup. You know, he, he actually got fouled. I don't know why the refs never give us fouls. That's another issue. For another day. I won't complain till we're actually a threat to make the playoffs about that. But a lot of times we get fouled. We don't get the calls. And like Brandon Ingram, there was a play where he grabbed the ball. And they penalized him for that. I mean, he got all ball, guys. Matter of fact, that David Nuaba block up top, he got mostly ball. That should have been a block. I don't know what's up with the NBA. They've gotten softer and softer. It makes me sick sometimes. I puke in my mouth just watching these refs call BS after BS. But anyways, that's for another day. But I'm proud of the Lakers. As long as they keep developing, we're tanking. Um... And uh, we're now in, in a good position to land a draft pick. I don't think we'll catch the Brooklyn Nets, but that's okay. Anyways, guys, uh, I thank you guys for all the support you guys have been showing me in the comment section. And those of you that donated, thank you very much. Um, I'll catch you guys on Sunday after that um, Pelicans game. That's going to be interesting because, you know, you know that uh, DeMarcus is going to try to uh, audition for the Lakers. He always wants, I have a feeling he wants to be a Laker and watch him go for 30 or 40 against us. Anyways, guys. Appreciate, appreciate all the support, like I said, on the channel and on my um, GoFundMe. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on Sunday after the next one. Peace out.